this video is going to cover the property manager, properties, which this is how we get into this area, and the reviews tab. So we made some changes on the screen a few minutes ago. We're going to go into the reviews tab. And you see right now we have one review scheduled and who it was scheduled by for the date of February 10th, 2010. Let's first add a new review to this property. We want the review scheduled on what day the inspection is going to be. And this can be a move-in review, a midterm review, or a move-out re review. Based on those details, we're going to select the time. And this is all data that's going to populate to a letter that goes out to the tenant to let them know that we are coming. Let's do a midterm review. Gives us the information to the tenant. And then we're going to send a review notice. And then we're going to schedule the review. Gives us a pop-up that tells us we're going to schedule a review. So once that happens, it's going to pop up a screen that says to generate the uh, documents associated with that review, and we can choose to print them here, we can choose to view them, which we're going to do now, or email them. And we're just going to re view the uh, document at this point, so we're going to say generate, and notice that what it's going to do is it's going to populate a document in Microsoft Word and pull that up for us. We'll go take a look at that document. And notice the document has all the correct information, the address of the property, the review, the date of the review, and it tells them whether they need to be there or not. And these documents are fully uh, customizable to say the verbiage that you want them to say. And from there, you can close the document. Now it's saved over in the document screen. So and it's also going to be saved associated with the, this uh, review process, but in the tenant document screen it's going to be saved there as well. So let's go ahead and close this. And now let's go to property review items. Well, the first thing we'll do is actually open that review. So the day of the review, 212, we're going to double click it. And after the review is over, we're going to put the notes and the condition and who it was actually done by. So if we edit, reviews done by, let's say it's Tom Smith again, review status scheduled, and we can say whether it passed or failed. We'll call it a pass condition of each of the areas that we had selected previously as part of the review. We'll come down here. We can change our condition according to what we like for those to be. Fair, poor, good. And what this does is it allows us to keep track and record of everything that's going on with a certain property. We can create the documents associated with the review again. Create a review sheet. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a review sheet. And it's going to create the sheet that allows the uh, actual review manager to go out and what he should check off and look at when he goes out there. So let's take a look here. And you'll notice that uh, it shows the last review, good, and then we can add any notes associated with that. And it kind of gives us a list of what we should check off and what we should do. So we've got two pages of notes here. These are everything that we should look at when we go out to the property. And we can continue to check them off and come back and change the status if necessary. So we can close that document. We're going to save changes, close. Now we can also go to the property review items. These are the items that are going to be actually in the previous document. When we created that, it was based on these selections that we have here. If we want to edit these, we can certainly add more to the screen if we want to, or we can take things away. So prior, we had the uh, dining room, kitchen, family room, and garage. We can add in the master bedroom and the living room if we want. We can tell the uh, review E, the property manager, to look at the blinds the draperies, ceiling rods, or we can tell them not to. We can t uncheck those items and they will go off the list. So we'll save that record. Once the review is complete, obviously again we can come back, double click and change the details of the review here. But we can also take and add review pictures. So we see here we had a midterm review on 212 and it gives us a process of a move-in review was done on 212. Also we had scheduled one previously today and we can add pictures and so what you see here is you end up with headings across the top let's say this is garage you got the move-in review the midterm review and then you would have the move out review and all the pictures associated with that specific area would be in the list there so that if there were any problems or needs to require monies from the security deposit you would have record of what it looked like prior to them moving in after they moved in and after they moved out 